The following clip is from the Explore the Grand Canyon episode of Awesome Science. A fact of nature, which better helps us understand how water could cut through solid rock very quickly, is a process called cavitation. Here at Glen Canyon Dam in Arizona, a surprising event happened. In the spring of 1983, the Colorado River went into flood stage, filling Lake Powell at 148,000 cubic feet of water per second. Glen Canyon Dam was in danger of overflowing. The power plant was running at full capacity, moving 28,000 cubic feet of water per second through the turbines. Engineers opened the four outlet tubes, which increased the flow by 17,000 cubic feet of water per second. But much more was needed. The 40-foot diameter tunnel spillway was opened, and the flow was eventually increased to 32,000 cubic feet of water per second. Scientists were aware of cavitation, a dangerous process where water can tear through almost any material and surface when enough pressure and flow is taking place. Engineers were worried that this much flow could destroy the spillway tunnel if opened too much. Their worst fears were realized when the outgoing water became red and the ground started to shake. They saw huge pieces of bedrock and concrete being hurled into the air at the bottom of the tunnel. This all happened in just a few minutes. They quickly shut down the spillway and went in to investigate. What they found totally surprised them. The three-foot-thick concrete steel-reinforced tunnel had been penetrated by pits. The sides of the tunnel were missing, and the rebar was torn into pieces. Where the elbow was near the bottom, there was a giant hole 32 feet deep, 40 feet wide, and 150 feet long. Estimates were that cavitation destroyed the tunnel at 1,000 cubic feet per second during the peak. How did this happen? When water comes down a surface at high pressure and flow, if it hits an uneven surface, the water is thrown upward by the obstruction, which causes a partial vacuum and a vapor cavity develops, which starts to wear away at the surface. Once a pit is made, it causes more upward waves, which makes more pits and then begins a leapfrog process of erosion. The tunnel had to be quickly repaired it took 63,000 cubic feet of concrete to fill. This shows us that with enough water flow and pressure, cavitation can create huge erosional features in just a short amount of time. The water flow at Glen Canyon Dam was nothing compared to the amount of water behind the two lakes spilling across the Kaibab Plateau to create the Grand Canyon. The process of cavitation would have torn the granite apart beyond imagination.